Telstar is 632 milligrams per kilogram. So this number is lower. And if the number is lower, it's more, more toxic. Really interesting about this product compared to this product. Hey everyone, welcome back to Elevate Applicate. Just to carry on from what we were talking about about labels and SDS sheets, I actually wanted to walk through a safety data sheet with you. If that's something that interests you, stick around. We're gonna walk through FMC's uh, Scion insecticide uh, safety data sheet. If that's not something that interests you and you have no idea and you don't really care about reading or understanding safety data sheets, then hey, click off. But if you are interested, stick around, we'll dive into it. Also, if you can like and subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate it. So here we have FMC, and this is the um, safety data sheet. Up here, it's gonna have a revision date. This says this was re revised in 2018, so it's a relatively new version. And we can see what's going on here. So we have product codes, legacy product code. This is basically a, uh, communicating what this product is in ways to identify it. Synonyms. So it also goes by gamma cyhalothrin. This is the long chain of molecular structure that makes up the name. There's two different ones. There's a CAS name and an IUPAC name. The active ingredient, which is what we really need to know, gamma cyhalothrin. Here's the formula, the chemical family. We know that it's a pyrethroid pesticide. And um, the recommended use or purpose of use is going to be as an insecticide. Pretty simple, right? Down here, if we scroll down, um, we're gonna see that we have uh, the corporation and then emergency numbers. And then what we're gonna do, we'll go to the next page, and then this is gonna tell us um, the hazards, right? So this material is considered hazardous by OSHA Hazard Communication Standard 29 CFR 1910.1200. It talks about inhalation, it talks about eyes, and it talks about skin. Right now this is a category four, acute toxicity if inhaled, uh, eye damage, it's category two, and then skin sensitization, it's a 1B. We have some precautionary statements right here for prevention. It says avoid breathing it in, which makes sense, right? You wanna wear your uh, respirators. And what the label calls for is what you wanna wear. But again, remember the label is just the uh, bare bones minimum of protection. You can always wear more protection if you want. Don't be afraid to do that. We have precautionary statements for responders. Again, from the previous video, I talked about you know, medical incidents or accidents. This right here is why you need the SDS sheet for first responders, because it'll tell them what they need to be aware of, right? Um, if exposed or concerned, get medical attention. If on skin, wash with plenty of water and soap. Uh, if inhaled, remove person to fresh air. You know, this tells them what they need to know. Uh, storage, store locked up, right? In a well-ventilated place. Keep the container tight, pretty simple. Um, so we know it's in the pyrethroid family. So let's jump to the next page of this SDS sheet. Okay. This is basically um, the makeup of Scion and what percentages by weight is involved in this. Now we have first aid measures. This is really critical for us to understand, right? If we get it in our eyes, what do we do? Well, we hold the eyes open, we rinse it out gently with water for 15 to 20 minutes. Um, if present after the first five minutes, then continue rinsing the eye, call Poison Control Center. More than likely, you're going to want to go to the ER or the hospital so they can continue to rinse your eyes. Uh, skin contact, remove clothing and shoes, start with flushing water, yada, yada. It's going to tell us what to do. Inhalation, move people to fresh air. And ingestion, call a, a poison control or a doctor immediately. And then we come down here to uh, most important symptoms and effects, both acute and delayed. Gamma cyhalothrin can cause feelings of burning, tingling, or numbness in exposed areas, which is called paresthesia. Also right down here, indication of immediate medical attention. Special treatment if needed necessary. Induced vomiting of first aid substance may result in increased risk of chemical pneumonia or pulmonary edema caused by aspiration of the hydrocarbon solvent. Vomiting should not be induced only under professional supervision. So if somebody gets this in their mouth and swallows it, you don't want to start causing them to throw it up. And this is exactly what this tells you. This is really important information for us as pesticide applicators to understand the products that we're using 
and what to do in case of an emergency. I don't foresee somebody drinking this stuff, but if it were to happen, if you didn't read this, you wouldn't know not to have them start to throw it up. So this is really critical as to why we need to know this. Um, accidental measures, hazards. Um, the essential breakdown products are volatile, toxic, irritant, inflammable compounds such as hydro, hydrogen chloride, hydrogen fluoride, yada, yada, yada. Next page. So then we have environmental precautions right here, which we need to know if we're going to be doing pesticide applications. Uh, contain the spill and uh, prevent any further contamination of surface, soil, or water. Methods of containment, you can do a dike, which is pretty common. Methods of cleanup, neutralize the spill area, clean it up remove that. Uh, storage, handling, uh, exposures, protections, and then down here, individual protection measures, eye and face protection. You know, wear a chemical protective goggles, wear suitable protective clothing, wear protective gloves. So these are all critical things that we need to know. And this is going to tell us kind of um, the physical and chemical properties of it that we need to be aware of. This is some general information. This also says that a NIOSHA or MSHA approved respirator protection should be worn. What's interesting is it says should be warned and not shall. Shall in a legal document is an absolute, you have to follow this. This should is a recommendation, but shall is a mandatory statement. You shall wear a respirator. Should is just a recommendation. Now, me personally, if I'm going to apply insecticides that can damage me, I'm wearing a respirator to protect myself as much as possible. So, um, reactivity, all this other stuff about hazards. Okay, so this might be the most important um, page on the SDS sheet for us as pesticide applicators when people call us and say, hey, how toxic is the product that you're using? Uh, what, is it, what is its effect? Is it safe for my kids? Is it safe for my dog? Um, we get a lot of questions like that. This is the toxicological, oh, got the eraser. This is the toxicological information page. And right here is the product. And then these are the additional things that are on top of that product. Um, and this is like the additives that are within the actual uh, mixture. But right here we have uh, 3,257 milligrams per kilogram on a rat to produce a lethal dose of 50% orally to a population. Same thing, LD50, it's greater than 5,000 milligrams if it's to be absorbed through the skin. So it takes a significant amount of this product. And if you don't know this, the higher the number for these, the less toxic it actually is. The lower the number in the LD50 and, the, and of the oral or dermal, the more toxic it is. So that's because this is telling us that it takes this much, 3,257 milligrams per kilogram, to kill 50% of a population of rats orally. And uh, if this said 100, well, now it only takes 100 milligrams per kilogram to kill a rat. So the lower the number, the more toxic it is. The higher the number, the less toxic it is. And if you were to compare uh, this section right here to another product like Telstar, which uh, FMC also makes, theirs, it's significantly different. And I'll actually bring that up if you guys want. Um, but this is really critical for us to explain to our clients, hey, this is the concentrate, this is based on the concentrate, and this is the amount that it takes to do this. You know, we dilute it at such and such a ratio, so this number is actually way higher right? You need, you need, if we're going to dilute it at 0.65 fluid ounces a gallon and you're applying a gallon over a thousand square feet, well, it's very unlikely that you're going to run into that number performing these applications. So moving on, uh, ecological information, ecotoxicity, this is very toxic to aquatic life with long lasting effects. So you do not want to apply this around water or standing water. You do not want to get this in standing water or place where there's aquatic life. So you have to use precautions when you're making these applications, right? What else here? Disposal considerations. I'll make this a little bit bigger. Um, 
Persistence, it's not readily biodegradable, so that tells you that it's gonna persist in a long time. It's not very mobile in the environment, and it can also have a bio concentration, so it can accumulate. So this is something that we need to be aware of, okay? This is transportation information. This is mainly for trucking companies. Um, down here, regulation information. But if you've never gone through an SDS sheet, you know, these are some things that you should know, right? Acute health hazard, yes. Chronic health hazard, yes. Fire hazard, yes. Sudden release of pressure hazard, no. Reactive hazard, no. So these are gonna tell you various things as far as transportation. Um, and then obviously we have, you know, various uh, places where this is, this international inventories is what this says. This is in Europe. This product actually comes from Austria, if you didn't know that. This is gonna talk about other information as far as special hazard conditions, health hazard, flammability, et cetera. And then we get to the end here. So that is just briefly um, the a Scion, uh, an SDS sheet of a product that I use pretty frequently. I'm actually gonna pull up um, the SDS of Talstar right now for you guys, so that way you can kind of see the difference. So it's, it's laid out the same, right? All these SDS sheets are laid out in the same order. And that's really convenient for us because you can essentially learn how to read them very, very quickly. But I want to get to the LD50 and LC50 and just show you a comparison of these two products. Okay, and then we'll make this background black so it's a little bit easier to see for you guys. Okay, so if we were to compare Scion, if you remember, Scion had 3,200, I'll put 3,200, there's a different number, but milligrams per kilogram for this exact same number, okay? This is LD50 orally. We were at over 3,200 milligrams per kilogram. Talstar is 600, oh, I don't wanna do that. Can't see it. Talstar is 632 milligrams per kilogram. So this number is lower. And if the number is lower, it's more, more toxic. Really interesting about this product compared to this product. And then if we look at um, dermal, this says greater than 2,000 milligrams, whereas the other one said greater than 5,000 milligrams. So there's a significant difference in the toxicity of these two products. And they're both used mainly for the same insects. The main difference is the formulation. Uh, Scion, the, the manufacturer won't really tell you what it is, but what it is, it's a micro encapsulation. a micro encapsulation what that means it's a slow release product whereas um, Talstar by Fenthrin is not but I wanted to show you this so that way you have an understanding of comparing products if we can achieve the same result or better result with a less toxic product why wouldn't we right why wouldn't we all switch to this product compared to this one because if we're the applicators that are applying this product we need to protect ourselves and obviously this right here is a, a significant difference compared to 3,200. So I just wanted to bring this up to you. Read the SDS sheet, study your products. If you can find products that are less toxic, that achieve the exact same result or better, do it, right? Makes sense. So without further ado, I'm Austin with Elevate Applicate. This is just a brief overview and lesson of SDS sheets. I hope it helps you. I hope it serves you. Like and subscribe. Take care and God bless.